In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that gray background and play button at the start of your e-learning project. I got a message from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel. They wrote, when I preview my project, the default screen shows a gray background with a play button in the middle. My client has asked if the gray background can be replaced with a more satisfying image. Is there any way to do that? Thanks, Paul, in advance. So I don't know if this is exactly what you're looking for, but I think I have a solution that should be able to help you out here. Here's a project that I have on my screen here, and I've got audio on slide number one, audio on slide number two, and so on. And one of the things that you can do inside of the all new Adobe Captivate is go into the preferences. For Windows users, you'll find the preferences under the Edit drop down menu. Mac users, you'll find it under the Adobe Captivate drop down menu. Select preferences. We're going to go into the project category and the subcategory for publish. And you'll see there's this option for autoplay. Now, in theory, this will get rid of the play slide that you see, the gray background with the play button on it. The problem is a number of years ago, the browser folks decided that whether it was Microsoft or Google Chrome and so on, there were too many multimedia items automatically running inside of their browsers and people started to complain. Mostly it was advertising, you know, video would automatically play advertising some service or product or some audio would actually play advertising again, some service or product. So to get rid of this, they prevented multimedia from running automatically. Unfortunately, that means e-learning as well. So when I preview this project here, you'll see I still get my gray background with play button. And so that's not very satisfying, especially if you intended to not show that at all. Here's my solution for that. Again, it has to do with playing the multimedia. If I get rid of the multimedia on slide number one, so I'll go ahead and delete that. I've got an updated version of the audio for slide number two that includes very similar audio that would have been on slide number one as well. So I can just drag this onto my slide here. It will replace the audio and I just need to extend the timeline to accommodate that. So if I go back to slide one here and we preview this project, good news, it goes straight into my e-learning course now. And I can go ahead and press start Welcome to the channel partner training. Please enter your name here and select submit. And of course, now we get our welcome message, but also the first instruction for slide number two. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at captivateteacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.